Hey guys, uh, sorry, my cam my camera literally stopped when I recorded it, and for some stupid reason, it keeps doing that every time I do, whenever I'm on a particular app on my phone. So anyway, if you guys are wondering why I'm wearing a uh, spandex shirt and a uh, neck cover, is because I'm showing you guys my full, fully completed spring shop outfit. Uh, I'm going to show you each part that I'm going to be putting on, piece by piece. First, we're going to be starting off, starting off with um, the easiest part, which is the main chest piece. Well, all, I have, all, all I have to do is just slide, is just climb uh, on top and sli slide it up, hold arms through the hole, and then zip up the zipper on the back. Which is the easiest step in this cosplay. And I really do wish I could um, wear this to a Comic Con if, if the whole coronavirus stuff blows over. And if it does blow over, then I'll go to a Comic Con wearing this. But anyway, uh, next I'm putting on my lower abdominal piece, which is simple again. But the only thing I have to be careful of is just the waist part, since it's not really um, that secure. And I am wearing full black because um, I wanted to give it that effect of like uh, the anim of like um, mainly the suit and the human parts being only exposed. I don't want. I didn't want to remake the entire costume because I worked really hard on making the entire costume itself. So I didn't want to take too much time out of remaking the entire thing. So the only thing I did was just remake the chest and of course the head. And the headpiece was actually really uh, difficult to do because I couldn't figure out what exactly I could do to make it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more accurate. So I decided to actually use an, a particular method of actually cutting the head, well the top part of the head before I uh, spray painted it. Oh. Ah, crap. A side piece came off. I think the, the my pants will give a little bit. I might as well just take this off. This one, I just have to keep it snug against my thighs. Ah, crap. There's a hole. Oh, well. There was that idea. Oh well, it gives it an extra withered effect, I guess. Now, the only downside to the thighs is that um, um, when I first made it, the thighs slowly slid off, but I don't know if it will uh, this time, because um, I had it kept snug, I had to keep it snug against my body and hopefully this time it doesn't come off as it did before so the, the, so here's the main costume so far oh, let me move my phone back a bit so here's the costume so far this is just the chest piece the lower abdominal area, the thighs, and now I will do the arms. Which again, these are just simple, you just slide them on. Uh, one of my arm pieces are loose, so I'm gonna have to make a minor adjustment to it at some point. And um, yeah, of course, only one is actually snug on my body but I will of course be uh, I will try and do a video of me going to a cosplay or a comic con and of course I did start working on a halo of course um, I also did start working on a halo reach armor and uh, anyway now I'm doing the uh, 
calf parts of the costume, I guess you could say. The supposed calf parts, which I'm trying not to rip in half. And of course you can notice that there is a giant marking, not marking, um, missing piece in the back. I decided to leave that blank because it would be easy for me to know where the, the fabric's at and it wouldn't be able, it wouldn't give me that much of a problem where I would have to rip it all apart just so that I can, uh, you know, just so that I could just get into it. Now normally I would recommend if you guys are wor working on this type of cosplay to have your uh, parents help you with this. Anyways, one, couple of calves are done. But anyway, um, I will be having my mom possibly uh, take a pic, uh, record me at a cosplay one day. If, or my grandparents, if I do, if this whole coronavirus stuff blows over. But hopefully, one day. Now, of course, you may be wondering why I'm not doing a, a voiceover. It's because I'm using my phone and I don't have Filmora 9 to edit my videos anymore because I actually got my brother's old computer. So that means I got a little bit faster speed quality whenever I go into my computer, as well as uh, an advantage of me not just. Uh, using a whole screen. But anyway, these are the calves. And I actually did start working on a foot. But uh, it's not really finished, but I'll just put it on to show you guys what it looks like. And I will be making a another foot. But, um, yeah, this is pretty much like a one foot deal. It's really good to wear, and it's easy to slip on and slip off, but, um, the only problem is that I have to, like, lift my arm legs up and down to wear it, and it's raining outside, so I'm not going to do any outside shots. Sorry, guys. But anyway, uh, here's the, here's the forearms, which I do try not to rip, because they are made of a much thinner foam than the head and or body but I do also try to add as much force as I can to pull these on and I did not make gloves so I'm going to have to use regular black uh, gloves but I will be think I will try to find a way to make a uh, glove not a regular fabric glove, but like a foam glove. Because I have seen people make gloves by just using fabric and then um, using the material that they're using, either if it's foam or um, other fabric to make the fingers, like the individual joints between that are separated between each finger point. And um, it's kind of interesting, but anyway. I'll try and figure that out, but anyway, uh, let me lift the camera up. Uh, here is the head that completes the entire costume. So yeah, this is the whole costume, and you guys may be wondering why I didn't add like, um, I, I, you guys might be wondering why I didn't add like any material right here, like on the inside part of it, that covers my mouth. Is because I wanted to give the actual like lively effect of like the purple guy actually being stuck inside of the costume or inside of the suit because in particular images I've seen from other youtubers um, I did I did consider actually making it seem like um, Springtrap had like a had the purple guy stuck inside but I didn't know how to do it um, so I decided to actually just take the effect of using my mouth and use it so that whenever I open and close my mouth, and, I, and whenever I open my mouth entirely like this, it actually shows that like the purple guy is actually inside of the head or the helmet. But anyway, uh, that is actually 
the entire costume. Let me see if I can move this back a bit more. I did move my uh, shoe rack because I didn't have it against the wall. <clears throat> Moving it a little bit. Okay, let's see if I can move this back a bit more. So, uh, yeah, that's where it's going to go. Okay, I'll move back a little bit. Anyway, here is the full costume for my spring trip outfit. It's a lot better than my older design because my older design for the chest piece was a little too loose. And of course, my head, of course, the slits on the head were too um, noticeable and it showed my hair. And the way I actually worked on, let me just set this up real quick. The way I actually worked on the headpiece was actually a lot more better than the way I did my original headpiece, which was a little bit more accurate but it showed a little bit more of my head which i didn't really want when i finished it like after a few uh, years because i did make it a long time ago and i didn't really finish the costume but anyway now that i finished the costume uh the basic costume the entire costume itself i have to work on the feet and of course the gloves or hands or whatever you want to say and of course um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure you guys like comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and also make sure to tell me in the comments down below what you want me to do next, because I do still have my Withered Foxy mask, and I do still have my Withered Bonnie uh, mask, and of course I still have my Savitar helmet, so if you guys want me to actually make a full costume relating to those characters, then tell me in the comments down below, and of course if you guys want to actually, if you, actually, if you guys actually want me to consider making merchandise, either of, um, of either my my YouTube channel or anything else like that and tell me in the comments down below as well and in the next video I of course will be setting up a merch store in the link in the description of course not in this video but in the next video so hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always like comment subscribe turn on those notifications and of course I'll see you guys in the next video bye